fact that you've lost so much weight. And you're looking like a ghost. Come on. You've got to pull yourself together, okay? You don't understand. No one does. Then let me understand. Because I simply can't. Look. Your sister has been dead for over three months now. And you're here grieving as if she just died yesterday. That was very insensitive of you, you know. Extremely insensitive. I know. And I am so sorry. But someone has to tell you the truth. Look, my dear. Life goes on and you better go on with it. It has happened and it has happened. No one begins for tragedy, but it happens. Look, matter. You can't continue like this. You've torn down all the scripts been given to you. You don't even pick your calls. What is wrong with you? And you shut out all your friends. I mean, matter. Wake up. Look at you, girl. So unkept. Matter, someone has to tell you the truth. Now listen to me. You've got to be careful, okay? One day, Michael will just walk off on you. Just like Sammy took off for your sister, Mariah. Tell me, is that the reason why you're hotter? Yes. Stop it. Stop it. No one says I have to sit down and listen to this nonsense. Hey, 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 what exactly has come to that? I'm only trying to help. I wish you could just get up right now and tell me what to do. Because I didn't know what to do. I don't know. I need help. All I want is for you to be good girls and take care of each other all the time. Is it okay? Do you hear me?
Why are you calling out your name? I'm just upset. Yeah, I'm thinking. Look, my friend, I'm getting worried, you know. You agree with me that I've, um, I've tried to accommodate you these past months and I'm slowly losing it. No, please don't. Please don't listen to me. Please don't. I can't handle that. I can't. Please don't. You don't understand. I so you have to leave the past and face the future. Leave the dead and face the living. For Christ's sake, I'm your husband. But I need you. Can't you see that? You have to let go, okay? Let go and let leave, please.
some time but you cannot fool all the people all the time you see i suspected everything from the way you attacked me at your uncle's place the last time but i was not sure but now i am damn sure because i've been training you all day oh, well. you know why because this is the only place my eye shops for a brand flex you're very stupid Jay. In fact, you're a fool. Are you sure you're okay? Did you ever occur to you that Mariah and I are twins? And that we might love and eat the same things and probably will shop for them at the same place? For every six, we grew up together, you know. Stop lying, Mariah. Stop lying. You're my girlfriend. I know you. I know it's you, Mariah. And I want you to quote all that cock and bull story about Mariah running away with another man. You're my girl. I know you cannot do a thing like that. Mariah, you're a good girl. It was not what an accident and not you. I can prove it, Mariah. Really? Yeah. Prove it! Mariah! 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 Mariah!
hands up. The next time you try that with me, the better sure that I will have your head. That you're having fun. <laughs> fun? What did you call this fun? Look at me! Look at me! I'm living a lie. I'm living a lie. I'm trapped. Well, living a lie? <laughs> I don't think so. I mean, <laughs> you were in my clothes. Living my life. Living in my room. My husband. <laughs> How on earth can you tell me you're not having fun? Hmm? You bitch. Stop it. It was your fault. It was your fault. You forced me into this. And you knew it. I never wanted to do this. You forced me into this. So stop it. Just stop it. <laughs> But all of a sudden, you couldn't wait. All this is why I'm so sure you love my life so much you didn't wait for me to leave so that you can just jump into a lap. You scum. No! No! Father, for I have sinned. Father, it's been over two months since my last confession. Uh, I have sinned. My sister, my twin sister, called me one day and asked me to come and take her place because she had to go somewhere. I can't believe what you are telling me. Believe it, Tita, because it is true. Look, I am Mariah. So you mean, all this while, I thought Mariah, my friend, was dead? She was alive. And she was staying in the same town with me. Yes. Titi, yes, look. I can't bottle this up in, in here anymore. I just can't. But I couldn't tell anyone. I just couldn't. 
So why are you telling me now? Why? Tito, please. I'm begging you. I need you. The problem I have right now is how am I going to tell my family? Not to come and take off. Let's talk of Michael. I can't believe this. Where are you going? I'm going home. I can't believe you will do this to me. And I don't even think you understand the enormity of what you just did. Of course I did it. Look at me. Do I look normal? I'm going crazy. I need you, please. I need you. Help me. You need me to help you do what? What do you need me for? I need you to come with me to tell my uncle. That's what I need you to do. Please. So that your family will say I was in on the game. No way, Mariah. That is, if you are really Mariah. Because right now I'm still confused. I don't even know what to believe. It's me. Titi. Please help me. Please. Please. I'm surprised you didn't think about that when you were plotting your evil game. How dare you take advantage of people like that? Why? Titi. I need you now more than ever, Titi. Please. I'm begging you. I can't do this. I can't do this alone. I need you. I'm going crazy, Titi. It's me. It's me. And you're even using Martha's phone. Oh my God. I can't believe this. You are using Martha's phone. You know, when I got a call that was supposed to be from Martha, I was wondering because I know Martha and I don't get along. But I never knew it was going to be something like this. Why? Why did you have to do this? There's no way I can help you, Mariah. This is too bad. There's no way. I'm sorry. I have to go. Titi, don't go. Titi. Why tempers keep rising? Please. Maria, to say that I'm disappointed in you would be an understatement. I am utterly ashamed of you. Uncle, please. Please, I'm begging you. Don't touch me. I can't bear to have you lay your filthy hands on me. Get out of my sight. But you please, you all I have, please, I'm not you. Please, I'm not you, please. The fact I'm too shocked myself. I'm totally disappointed. How could you have done a thing like that? Huh? I don't hurt you. Please. I mean, the whole thing is so confusing. I can't say anything. I don't know. Please. All the same, I, I suggest you go to Michael and confess. Oh, oh. Just start from there. I want you out of my house before I come back downstairs. I can please. I'm going to take you past the decision. I know that John is terrible. Terrible. Terrible does not even begin to describe what you have done to me. It's an abomination, Maria. I'm 
you deceived me for so long. I tried to tell you. I tried to tell you what was my but I just couldn't. Maria, if you can say, don't oh, no, make me forgive and forget what you and your sister have done to me. I can never forgive you. Please don't say that. Pack your bags and leave my house, okay? To help you if you're still here by the time I come back downstairs. Thank you. Taking this a bit too far. I credit that all the girls did is quite terrible. But that does not mean that we must crucify my hair. Woman, are you sure you know what you are talking about? Do you realize that this could bring a terrible cost upon this family? Yes. Maria must come to the village and cleanse herself. Yes! And all the necessary sacrifices must be performed to our gods. Ibe, I have told you I'm a Christian and I will not be party to any form of sacrifice. This is traditional. I said this is traditional and our tradition says that any person that does such a thing must appease the gods and make sacrifice to the gods. Yes! Just as my husband has said, we are Christians. Therefore, we are not going to 